Michelle. Really, really nice to see you now. First time here on Zoom. Yeah. Okay, so for for today, I have three questions for you. Is that okay? Yeah, sure, sure, okay, sure. I'm so, happy. So let's start with the first question. First, uh, can you tell us a little about yourself, your area of expertise, and your current work or research interest? Yeah, thank you. Um, my name is Sabina Nereswanti, but you can just call me Nina. And I'm based in Semarang, Central Java, Indonesia. And I've been involved in ELT or English language teaching for over 15 years as a teacher, as a researcher, and also a teacher trainer. Wow. And currently, <laughs> currently, um, I have um, the privilege of um, serving as the senior teaching manager or a director of studies at EF English for Semarang. Oh, may I know yeah. what's the meaning of EF? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, this actually, um, this is actually part of education first. Education. First. Education first, and then education first has um some, um, um, what do you call that? Um, some schools like business, um, um, Halt oh, okay. International Business School, and then EF English first. Oh, ah, yeah. now I understand. Wow, education yeah. first. That's nice. Okay, so I have my second question for you. What the key message? do you plan to convey during the presentation for job this year? It's going to be, um, it's going to be involved in the um, gamification. If you've heard about. Um, yeah, term, I've heard yes. about gamification, <laughs> but can you tell our, yeah. our audience more about gamification? Just a little bit idea about it. I would like to uh, bring something, um, which are the benefits of the smart gamification techniques in educational settings that can help instill a growth mindset in learners. Mm. So yeah, as we know, um, while gamification and game-based learning um, have become increasingly more popular nowadays, mm -hmm. but it's also important for us to recognize that they come with the, their set of challenges. Mm -hmm. yeah, for example, like classroom management, time management, you know, sometimes we yeah. get too excited and then so mm -hmm. we get dragged on um, the um, classroom management and time mm -hmm. and also with the um, technical issues or maybe resource limitations, sometimes students or the teachers, they don't have the um, device available for them um, to do the um, gamification um, and also um, another thing is the diverse student learning styles and um, mm. their diverse or mixed abilities. Mm. So how do we cater to these different needs? Oh, yes. so, yeah. In my workshop, um, I aim to emphasize that these challenges um, can be effectively addressed using smart gamification techniques. Um, mm. By smart here, um, what I mean by smart um, it's not just engaging, but also um, these strategies um, needs to be designed to be more thoughtful, responsible, adaptable, and personalized. Mm. Yeah, and so then it's more uh, cent centered on learners' needs. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, okay. And then hopefully um, later, teachers can transform their gamified classroom experience into an environment where students are more likely to embrace challenges, to view failures as stepping stones to success, mm. and then to value effort, teamwork, and eventually develop resi resilience, motivation, and also determination, which mm -hmm. are the characteristics of a growth mindset. And then all these are to achieve the academic success and also their own personal growth. Oh, so it seems like it's not just like learning about language. Uh, with gamification, it's more on literacy, right? Yeah. A lot of things to be learned. Well, mm -hmm. I hope <laughs> that a lot of uh, people will really attend your workshop because that's really very interesting. And not so many educators are really into gamification. Do you agree with that? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, basically gamification is um, putting this game elements into a non-game context. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, um, having these challenges, sometimes um, we just need to have solutions. We have to just anticipate before um, 
these um, things happen in our classroom that will demotivate students. Uh, yeah, so yeah. It's, it's really a challenge to be in the classroom every day. And uh, I think <laughs> gamification is a really good solution for, for these challenges, right? Yeah, um, yeah. So, if so, we, yeah. yeah, continue on. Yeah, it's just um, if we then do it right. <laughs> when do we it do with, it right. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that, that's the key, the key mm -hmm. message, mm -hmm. doing it right. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with gamification. Well, thank you so much about that uh, response. But um, now I'm really looking forward to this presentation. And thank you. Actually, it's a workshop. It's something that you you initiated doing. Um, yeah. Workshop is is not really, of course, we know a lot of lectures are done or discussions or presentations, but workshop is really in on a different level, right? So uh, why did you choose workshop over just a plain presentation? Because um, I think with workshop, um, because I plan to provide um, practical examples for them, hands-on mm -hmm. Yeah, activities, guidance on how to design and to adapt or customize and implement the gamification techniques um, in educational context, of course, to suit different um, class needs and characteristics. Wow. And mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I feel like it's going to be uh, more useful because they get the experience firsthand. And then, yeah, I will also share the smart gamification tips to promote the growth mindset elements that we discussed earlier. Mm. And so that attendees will be equipped and ready mm. to apply the techniques um, in their own classroom and their teaching contacts. And Thank then so hopefully, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully they can leave the workshop with um, actionable strategies to create more engaging positive and motivating classrooms yeah so yeah. i myself as an attendee i'll be looking forward to that workshop because like being in a workshop like gives you more you know yeah, more I guess so. ideas because like if i hear gamification and i hear the meaning and all but if i don't get to actually do it I probably won't use it or buy mm -hmm. the idea and bring it to my classroom. So thank you. Thank you for preparing so much for that workshop. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. I'm happy to do that. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Of course. And of course, we have your uh, the last question. Uh, in your presentation this coming November 25th at exactly 12.10 p.m. to 1.10 p.m. here in Japan, how do you envision it benefiting the conference attendees and the broader community? Okay, um, I guess um, benefiting the conference attendees are by um, giving them this um, experience where, we, uh, where they can um, try as students in my workshop session letter so that <laughs> they mm. can feel um, the gamified um, classroom experience later on uh, doing it the right way and then hopefully then um, they understand better about um, how we do these smart gamification techniques and then they can bring it to their own um, learning atmosphere in their schools and then for these uh, uh, talking about this broader context. Mm -hmm. um, of course, as an Asian scholar too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, because uh, we're talking about fostering a growth mindset, right? Yeah. Uh, by by um, having this smart gamification technique. So uh, I hope that later on, these educators, when they go back um, to their own teaching context, they um, can apply this. And then this uh, growth mindset has um, these far reaching implications. Mm -hmm. um, so like um, it, it equips students with, with the uh, mindsets and skills needed um, for them to face their challenges in the future. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but then uh, hopefully that um, these students, um, it's not an individual success for this student, but also I hope that it will contribute to a, uh, a more resilient community as a whole. Mm. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, uh, in this 
time, um, people really need to develop that resiliency yeah. um, <laughs> this difficult time. So I agree with Indeed. you. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you so much for answering those questions. And if, if there's anything you want to say mm -hmm. um, to any anyone here who are still thinking of going to the job conference and they're still not sure whether they, they will go and attend um job 2023 um would you like to give like a message to these people who are still unsure about coming to job 23 just a short message please. yeah um they definitely have to go it's worth it <laughs> <laughs> it's really, worth it. <laughs> really, it's worth it, really, because um, I went um, first, I went to JOL in 2013, mm -hmm. and then I got a lot of experiences, mm -hmm. and then I got... Wow, um, 2013. Yeah, 2013, oh. and then I got more knowledge, um, and then I could expand my um, my uh, pro, uh, PLN, Professional Learning Network, or Personal mm -hmm. Learning Network, and then um, also I could work with um, people um, that I met from the conference mm. and then I then continued with more research with them as well and oh. then I was then back again in 2014 for another presentation at JOLT. Oh that's so, nice. <laughs> yeah so yeah. So this um, is really not your first time with JOLT. <laughs> yeah really it was nice. 10 years ago the first time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you've been doing collaboration with a lot of yeah. educator, educators here in Japan mm -hmm, since mm -hmm, then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, that's really nice to know. And yeah, yeah, um, I really because... hope a lot of yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm sorry because <laughs> I'm I'm passionate. Uh, my passion, or I'm passionate about educational technology, mm -hmm. and then so um I in the past I used to have this Facebook group called Intercultural Exchange. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, between um students in Indonesia and students in Japan so mm -hmm. yeah we did the collaboration on that and also um, I also encourage um, teacher well-being and student well-being and also I had this um, research with Tim Murphy um, mm -hmm. for um, yeah uh, what we call ideal classmates um, there we try to promote mutual respect understanding and kindness uh, among classmates yeah nice. in Indonesia and Japan and then we compared this um, humanity aspects oh. <laughs> yeah uh, the results of, of yeah of these um, four students in Indonesia and Japan mm -hmm. and then yeah um, that's uh, what I presented at JOLT as well in 2014. Wow that those are really the essential things or uh, ideas that students of today should really learn in school right collaboration yes. with collaboration and mm -hmm. sell emotional learning and all. Oh, wow, that's Indeed. great. Uh, thank you so much for thank you, thank you with us and with all the possible JOL 2023 uh, attendees, conference attendees. And thank you very I'm much, really Michelle. really looking forward to see you this coming <laughs> November. See you here in Tokyo. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm so looking thank... forward to that as well. Okay, thank you. And thank have you a very much, day. Michelle. Thank you, thank, thank you, Joel, as well. Thank, thank you. you.